guys, so to start off today's video, I wanna show you two stretches that I've been doing every single morning. Uh, the way that I found these stretches was actually from an article that I'll make sure that I'll link down below, so if you do decide to do these, make sure you read that article to get a little bit more information on the stretches. But basically, it's from Kelly Stret, who is a doctor that specializes basically in like human movement and mobility. Um, so these two stretches are ones that he says you should be doing every single morning, and I've been doing them for the past couple days, and they've been awesome. So this first one he calls just hip flexion and external rotation. So what you wanna do is get in front of something that's about a little bit under knee height. Uh, so for me, my bed works perfectly, maybe like a couch for you or whatever, but just something that's a little bit under how tall your knee is. And you're basically just gonna throw your knee on top of it, right? And you want to get your shin down all the way as well and just kind of stretch and you're gonna feel it in your glute that's up and then you should be able to feel it a little bit in your hips as well. So the thing with these stretches, I've already done them this morning so I'm not gonna do them, but with, with these stretches that I'm showing you, you wanna do them for two minutes on each leg. Uh, that's like, that's what he calls is like the minimal effective dose. So you're gonna do that for two minutes. Obviously, once you do one leg, you're going to do the other leg. And then the next stretch, this is one that I really, really like a lot. So this is called the couch stretch. And I'm not really sure why it's called the couch stretch because you, he doesn't really say to use a couch when you do it. Um, but for, like, what he says to use is like a wall. But for me, my mobility is still kind of lacking, so that's not really possible for me yet. But what you want to do is you want to get up to something. You could use a wall. I'm going to use my bed here. Uh, but you're going to put your leg up on it, and you want to get your shin as close to the bed as possible. And you basically want to like lean forward, not lean forward, but you know, kind of jut your hips. You don't want to be like this, right? So you want to get your hips straight and then kind of move them around because you want to feel the stretch in your quadricep and in your hip flexor right here. So you're just going to sit here for about two minutes, like I said, and then you're going to switch legs. But this one is seriously awesome because my quads are super tight and you guys know I always talk about how my hip flexors are really tight so this stretch is like seriously seriously awesome and another thing if you if your knee hurts when it's being on the ground you can use like a, a blanket or something I usually have my blanket down right here or maybe like an ab mat or something soft just put it under your knee so you're not you know it doesn't hurt too bad but this stretch right here is like super super awesome so again two minutes on this leg you're gonna switch to the other leg for two minutes Seriously, every time I do it, when I, after I wake up, I'm like tight, I do it and I feel way, way better. So if you guys do, again, make sure you read the article that I will link down in the description below because it'll be able to explain the little nuances and things that, you know, obviously I'm not gonna sit here and explain forever, but seriously, they're super cool. There's a couple other stretches in the article as well that are super helpful. Uh, but yeah, seriously, love those stretches. Now it is gym time. Time. It's been a while since I did like a little talk before I went into the gym But something that I like to do whenever I go to the gym or at least 24 hour fitness That's where I'm here right now is I usually drink about half my pre-workout as I'm driving here And then I like to like sit here listen to music what I'm listening to right now is actually something He's an artist that I've been listening to for the past like year probably <laughs> I probably listened to him most in the past year than any other artist uh, John Bellion if you don't know who that is Check him out, seriously. Probably my, I would say my favorite artist right now. Uh, especially, yeah, definitely. My favorite artist right now. But yeah, I like to listen to music, just like kind of get into my own head and uh, drink the rest of my pre-workout. I'm not sure if anyone else does that. I'm gonna head into the gym. Today is chest and shoulders. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty strong. So hopefully we'll be able to push some good weight and uh, it'll be a good day. So incredibly stoked about that gym session. I got 105, that was the only, that was the second time that I've ever even tried to hit 105 and I was able to get one extra rep that I did last time I hit him. So I'm just super stoked. I'm getting more and more comfortable with having like that much weight, you know, in my hands and pressing and stuff. It's, I'm just super excited about that. Like I remember not that long ago, looking at the 85s was like, I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get, be able to get those. And the fact that I'm, you know, being able to hit 105 consistently is just 
super awesome to me. I'm super stoked about that. I need to eat some food and I need to take a shower, but I'm just like on cloud nine right now. Nine, cloud nine right now. <laughs> Lunch is served. It is something that you guys have seen many, 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 many times. So all we have here is just six ounces of chicken in there. We got a uh, packet of broccoli. Uncle Ben's ready rice is in there as well. And then I have two pieces of this Dave's Killer Bread. This stuff is so good. I love this bread. But yeah, it's a super simple. You guys have seen this a million times. Also, check out this super sweet Stormtrooper helmet that I got at the Disney store in the mall. It was only like $19. It's super awesome, and I think that it was definitely a good buy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hi. Look at that gap. <laughs> this is my friend Nolan. He hasn't been on the channel in a while. It's been like a years, probably. It's been like a year, yeah. <laughs> this, is his, there you go. this is his offspring. That's my little girl. Oh, no? You don't want that? <laughs> nope, not feeling it. <laughs> No one is legitimately one of my favorite people on this planet. We've been best friends since I was like six years old and we don't hang out as much as we used to anymore. You know, he has a kid and things like that, but every time we end up hanging out, it's like we never stop hanging out. We can just pick up right from where we left off and it's uh, it's really cool being able to have a friend that long. Like it's, it's pretty awesome. It is very cold out here. Would you agree? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how, what the temperature is. What's the degrees? Let's see, it says on my watch. It says it's 58 degrees, and that's really cold for us <laughs> because we're crybabies. But it is time for the gym. Let's go there right now. And we're here at the gym. We made it. Just Look what just came in. We've been waiting for these these hoodies forever. Oh, what? Oh, I just Join the, the dark side. CrossFit dark side hoodies. Wait, there's a piece of tape on yours. Uh, got it. Ooh. Your Looks sponsor? Yeah, dude. Your yeah. sponsor, Clinch Gear? Yeah. Looks super <laughs> fresh. Woo. We've been waiting for like literally probably a month now. Yeah. Yeah. Super stoked. Let's get this workout in. So, the uh, first part of today's workout is definitely not one of my favorite things to do in the world. Uh, it's squat cleans. It's supposed to be every minute on the minute for 15 minutes, we're gonna be doing squat cleans. And I just really lack a lot of the mobility to do them, but at the same time it's exciting because I do want to get better at them. But it's definitely going to be one of those things that like I'm not going to be doing very well at. Here goes nothing. Like I said, these are not my best lifts, so John's will look a lot better than mine. I got 185 pounds, that is a like 30 pound PR for me. So I'm super stoked about that. Jean also got a PR, what'd you hit? 10 pound PR what'd for you? 215. 215. So I'm happy. Super stoked, that went way better than I thought it was going to, so. Yes. Oh, you got like the See, it's hitting, bro. It's hitting, bro. What camera, what are you talking about? I'm just talking about it's hitting. I got two pull rounds, plus 45 reps, because I got 30 more sit-ups and all 15 of the uh, the power snatches. So, two full rounds plus 45. Whew. Before the camera dies, how'd you do? Okay, I got two full rounds and then three reps, so. I win. You just gotta enjoy it. You just gotta enjoy it, you know? You, you just gotta, just enjoy, gotta it. enjoy it. Right, Craig? I like your jacket. Oh, I like your jacket. I like, oh, yeah, I like their jackets. I like their jackets. I like your jacket. I don't know, man. It's a little, uh... You're a little too buff for it, I think. Ah. A little too buff for it. It's cute. I like your jacket. Woohoo! <laughs> so <laughs> We're all wearing the jackets. Super excited. <laughs> hey, John. You don't, don't you think tell you haven't...
We are back home from the gym now. Today has been just an awesome day. There's not really much more I could ask for. I was able to hit a PR on the 105 bench press, the dumbbells. I was able to get the squat clean PR. And uh, it was just a really good training day, really good. It just was a really good day. I had a, a lot of fun today. Um, but before I leave, there is someone that wants to say something to the vlog. Um, it's going to be his first time on, you know, on camera, so he's kind of nervous. So, you know, don't don't be too hard on him. Uh, but he really wants to talk to the vlog for a second. Hey, um, my name is Steve. I know a lot of people, me and, me and John are wearing the same, we're wearing the same hoodie, but... This isn't John, okay? This is Steve, my name is Steve. Um, but I do know one thing, that if John was here, he would definitely say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, he really, really appreciates it. I'm sure that's what he would say if John was here, but I'm Steve, not John. Remember that. So I'm sure he would say thank you so much for watching this. And there would be one other thing that he would wanna say. What would it be? Oh yeah. Look how buffy he is! Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that was stupid, but... I, I don't know. I had to use it. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. <laughs>